All right, well, this is for Tensa Koala, and uh, this is the uh, Perpendipetulum driver pulse motor. <laughs> and I watched your video uh, last night on this uh, pendulum circuit that uh, I jotted down the uh, circuit diagram and uh, thought it'd be fun to try this as a pulse motor instead of a pendulum circuit. And this is the name of it, Perpendipet to lum driver and uh, it was Tensil Koala's video that inspired me but he got this from an article or something in Nuts and Volts in August 2012 by David Williams and uh, this was the circuit that uh, Tensil Koala posted you can uh, freeze frame this and take a look at it and uh, I thought, boy, that's pretty darn cool. He had all the equipment to test it and was looking at it and uh, then wrote me back that uh, this will run on a solar panel. So, of course, I had to try it. And uh, that's it running right there. And it's running off that little teeny tiny solar panel that comes out of these uh, solar wavers. And I had uh, used the guts out of these to make little uh, pulse motors before. But uh, I could never get the LED to go. And there's the LED going off of that little teeny solar panel driving a motor. And this is the circuit I came up with. Um, I changed a couple of things, but very small changes. Instead of these uh, capacitors, a 2200 microfarad and a thousand, I dropped it down to 20. 2 microfarad and 10 microfarad and it's just running off that uh, solar waiver uh, solar panels. Uh, the transistors is a PNP and an NPN uh, 2 and 3906 for the uh, actually I think I have that reversed I think it's 29304 for the PNP and 29306 no that's right 29306 2 and 3906 is the uh, PNP and 29304 is the NPN. Uh, any of these small little uh, transistors will work. Now, I'm just calling this the Perpendipetulum pulse motor. And these are the people that were involved that I know about. Tinsel Koala, of course, David Williams, who came up with the name. But then Solarbotics had this type of circuit for the pendulum. S Smart Creations took that circuit and converted it into a pulse motor circuit, and then I basically followed his lead and made my own uh, driver circuit here. And this was done two or three years ago. And this is the same idea, the same type of circuit with the um, LED that blinks. But look at the size of the solar panel that I was using versus the size of the solar panel there. And I think one of the big differences is perhaps this diode, this 1 in 914 diode, and the way the LEDs and, and the diode configure in this thing, and then the coil arrangement that I'm using, of course, is different. But uh, to get the mass of that motor rotor spinning, using that tiny, tiny solar panel was really cool. You can see the difference between that uh, pulse motor there and the speed of this one here. A vast difference. Plus, I have a uh, light coming out of it. So anyway, thank you very much, Tensor Koala, for um, sharing this circuit. And I hope other people get in there and try to replicate it. I'm going to put a link to your video uh, up in the description so they can take a look uh, at what you came up with, the pendulum part of it. But that's the pulse motor right there. Really, really cool. Thanks for watching.